Hello, it's 4 News O'Clock on Whole News Nigeria. I am Okweemi Ulugemi. Here are the headlines for today. United States Supreme Court to wade in on abortion pill plan. Two teenagers arrested over Alabama birthday shooting. Now the news in detail. The United States Supreme Court was poised Wednesday to wade into the divisive battle over the abortion drug Myprostone with a ruling on tough new court-ordered restrictions on the widely used pill. The nation's highest court has until midnight on Thursday to decide how it will handle the most significant abortion case since it tossed out the constitutional rights to the procedure last year. The panel can rule in any number of ways on abortion rights and anti-abortion activists, as well as millions of Americans are on tender hooks, waiting to see how the conservative-dominated courts proceed in the latest case involving women's reproductive rights. The case stems from a ruling this month by United States District Court George in Texas that would have banned Mifepristone, which was approved by the Food and Drug Administration in 2000 and accounts for more than half of abortions in the United States. An appeals court blocked a ban on the pill but imposed tough restrictions on access after which the baiting was handed to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court could decide to freeze the lower court's rulings pending an appeal from the Justice Department and the Mifepristone manufacturer Danko Laboratories. It could also allow the rulings restricting access to the abortion pill to take effect while the appeals play out at the appellate level. The court could also decide to hear arguments in the case itself on an expedited basis. Complicating the case even further is a ruling by a separate federal court in Washington state that said access to my Bridgestone should be maintained. Since the Supreme Court overturned the landmark Roe v. Wade ruling that enshrined the constitutional right to abortion for half a century, 13 states have banned abortion and it has been severely restricted in others. In other news, two teenagers have been arrested in the United States over a sweet 16th birthday party shooting in a small Alabama town that left four people dead and 32 injured. Police on Wednesday said they had arrested the two teenagers and charged them with murder. On Tuesday, April 18th, at approximately 8 p.m., the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency's State Bureau of Investigation officially arrested and charged Tyreek McCullough, 17 of Tuskegee, and Travis McCullough, 16, also of Tuskegee, with four counts of reckless murder each. There is a tremendous amount of work that is yet to be done. We're going to continue to do exactly what we've been doing. We're going to be very careful with everything that we say, with everything that we do, because we absolutely are going to stay focused on the families, and the victims. But we're going to need the public's help when we do that. The Saturday violence in the tight-knit community of Dadeville in the United States South was only one of several mass shootings in recent days to plague a nation that is awash in firearms and endures tens of thousands of shooting deaths every year. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency identified the suspect arrested late Tuesday after three days of investigation and man hunts. The suspects are from Tulsgi, a town some 30 miles south of Dadeville. Despite being minors, the pair would be prosecuted as adults, District Attorney Mike Segres said, noting that four victims who remain hospitalized are in critical condition. Among those killed was 18-year-old Fistavius Dorwedale, whose sister was celebrating her 16th birthday on Saturday. Dowder was an accomplished high school athlete who had received a scholarship to play football at Jacksonville State University. The party turned violent when the birthday girl's mother told guests that she had learned people were armed and asked them to leave. America's gun violence epidemic has shown no signs of easing. The Alabama shootings came just days after a blank employee killed five people in his place of work in Kentucky. And that's it on today's news. To keep up with all news Nigeria, kindly follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. We'll be back with more news updates tomorrow. Until then, stay tuned. I am Okwe Mirubimi. Do have a lovely evening.